All right, this is the story of Thumbelina. There once was a woman who longed, above everything else, to have a little girl of her own. She went to a wise old woman to ask for advice. I want so much to have a little girl, a tiny girl, to care for, she said. Take this barley seed, said the old woman, and plant it in a pot. Here's a picture of the right there. Of the old woman and the mother. So the woman went home and planted the seed. It quickly grew into a strong plant with one large bud. When the flower opened, the astonished woman saw a little tiny girl, perfect in every way, sitting in the middle. Because she was no bigger than the woman's thumb, she was called Thumbelina. You see the picture there? Of the little girl in the flower. There never was a little girl who was loved so much or cared for so well. She had a walnut shell for a cradle and rose leaves for a blanket. As her mother worked around the house during the day, Thumbelina played on the table. She had a shallow dish of water with a lily leaf in the middle, and she loved to sing as she rode herself back and forth in the sunlight from the open window. But one night, a mother toad hopped through the window and saw the tiny girl in her pretty bed. Here's a picture of the toad. See the toad? She would make a beautiful wife for my son, thought the toad. The toad carried the sleeping girl away and put her in a lily leaf in the middle of the river. The little girl was not frightened, but she did not want to marry the toad's son. Thumbelina sat on her leaf and sobbed. A little fish popped up his head. You cannot marry that ugly toad, he said. Here's a picture of her on the lily pad and the fish. And he bit through the stem of the lily leaf so that it went floating down the river. Thumbelina felt happier now. She passed many beautiful places and a butterfly flew down to visit her. But Thumbelina's troubles were not over. A large black beetle seized her and carried her up into a tree. But when his friends laughed at her, the beetle carried Thumbelina down to a flowery meadow and left her there. So Thumbelina passed the summer quite happily, drinking nectar from the flowers and playing with her friends and the butterflies. But gradually the days began to grow shorter, winter was coming, and the nights were cold. Thumbelina knew that she could not survive the winter without a home to live in. And here's all of her beetle friends and butterflies and all the insects. Just as, uh, just as the shivering girl began to lose hope, she met a busy little mouse. You can stay with me in my little house, said the mouse kindly. Thumbelina was happy again until the mouse's friend came to visit. He was a mole who lived underground, and he soon fell in love with Thumbelina. And there's the mole right there. One day, the mole took Thumbelina to see his underground home. As they walked along a dark passageway, the mole warned her, Be careful here. Something has died and is lying in the way. It was a bird. But it was still alive. Thumbelina took care of the bird, and by spring, it was ready to fly away to join its friends. The little girl watched it fly away. She knew that when winter came again, she would have to marry the mole and live underground for the rest of her life. Summer passed again, and Thumbelina stood and looked at the blue sky for the last time. Just then, a voice came from, abo from above. Just then, a voice from above called to her, "Come with me." It was the bird she had saved. In no time at all, Thumbelina was sitting on the bird's back soaring over fields and cities at last the bird came to rest in a warm sunny country where orange trees grew and the air was full of the scent of flowers here's a picture of the bird there carrying her 
You can see on the next page the flowers. The swallow set Thumbelina down. You can imagine how surprised she was to see a little man no bigger than herself. Welcome to my country, he said. I am the prince of all the flower people. We will call you Maya. The little girl was happy at last. And that's the end of Thumbelina.